thousands of years, man observed the rising and setting sun, the cycle of seasons, and those he called wanderers or planets. Early in 1970, President Nixon announced the objectives of a balance that would include the scientific investigation of all the planets in the solar system. Mercury, only slightly larger than the moon, with no atmosphere and a day-night temperature range of nearly a thousand degrees. And an atmospheric pressure 100 times greater than Earth. In this painting of the planet, seen from its inner moon, we can only guess what the surface is like. That Mars is a world of contrasts we now know brought more surprises to scientists and more questions to be answered. It appears as a maze-like region of jumbled ridges and steep ravines for continued and more thorough investigations of Mars. The early mariners flew within several thousand miles of the Martian surface and atmospheric and surface chemical composition and the Viking landing missions. Mariner 9 is designed to operate in Mars orbit for a minimum of three months. The single 2,200-pound spacecraft is capable of performing much of the mission originally planned for two orbiting Mariner. It arrives at Mars after a five-and-a-half-month flight from Cape Kennedy every 12 hours. Photograph about 80% of the planet. The overlapping wide-angle and spot coverage narrow-angle pictures are taken at Mariner 9's lowest altitude about 750 miles. Objects as small as 300 feet across may be seen in the pictures. Mariner's orbit was designed to produce a continuous swath around Mars once each 17 days, apparently responding to springtime increases in temperature and humidity. Thousands of pictures and several billion other science measurements. Viking lander mission to Mars. During the next 10 years, is the search for life beyond Earth, likely on Mars. For that reason, Floration Program. The Viking landers for some first-hand field work. The two Vikings are double spacecraft and complicating the search for life. Their missions completed and may provide landmarks for the first Earthmen who visit Mars, just as surveyors stood in wait of the Apollo astronauts. <laughs> To astronomers, Venus has been perhaps the most frustrating object in the sky that hides its surface features. In 1973, another mariner, 10th in the series, will set out for Venus, this time to continue on to Mercury to help it reach another planet. Outer Mercury on its altered trajectory. Temperatures of the cloud tops at Venus and 10,000 miles from Venus. And some even names. Four telescopes will observe the brightness, speed, and direction of asteroids. The solar wind galactic and solar protons and electrons, and the elements that make up cosmic ray particles, even at the speed of light, full of the planet's enormous gravity. From here, Jupiter fills the sky, browns and yellows. Scientists want to know what chemicals produce these colors, why a planet so large can rotate more than twice as fast as Earth. Landmarks for the first Earthmen who visit Mars. To astronomers, Venus has been perhaps the most frustrating object in the sky 